Hey guys, Mike from Boyer Bows here. I uh, never really did a lot on the hunting video where I went to Texas, um, but this is going to be sort of the concluding video to that, even though I never really got started. I'm going to attach all of the film was put on to the Deep Fried King and the Hog Zone. He did all the filming. Uh, the only film I had was the Hog Breakdown, which I hopefully you saw and you enjoyed. Uh, but I got the links down below to the various uh, hunting videos that he posted of my trip to Texas. And once again, thank you, Rich. Deep Fried King, the Hog Zone guy. And, uh, you know, a lot of these people, after they go hunting, they talk about trophies, you know, and some people it's the biggest antlers on the wall or the rug that they're putting on the ground or the skull mount, which is my personal favorite when it comes to that kind of thing. But really that's not, that's really not a trophy to me. I mean, it is, and I, let me take that back. It's definitely a trophy. But my real trophy has just arrived, folks. A real trophy has just arrived from Junior's Smokehouse in Wharton, Texas. And uh, I got 76.9 pounds of trophy in here. Let's see what we got. Come on with me and join me on my journey. Let me take you to Texas. Let me take you to Wharton, Texas. All right, now let's see what. I'm not having any luck doing this one handed, so. There we go. There we go. Oh, the cooler's falling apart anyway. I'm trying to keep the uh, styrofoam snow down to a meh, minimum. Oh, yeah, I see what we Alright, well, let's just pop the case. Aha. Well, the first item up for bid here this is. These are survival sausages, guys. And there are quite a few of them here. That one probably should be eaten first. It doesn't seem like it has a particularly good seal. The ones that do are going in the freezer. So, survival sausages. I had the I ate these on the plane on the way home. They're incredible. Okay. They're kind of like, I don't know, what would you call them? Kind of like Slim Jims, but this is jalapeno sausage and cheese, venison, wild boar, Slim Jim. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. All right, good seal, good seal, good seal, good seal, not so good, 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 not so good. Those are getting eaten, those are going in the freezer. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Box number two. Box number two. Oh, 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 now this is a just is this is that a box of love right there? I don't know. I, maybe I shouldn't say it that way because there's a certain food porn situation happening here I probably shouldn't allude to. <clears throat> Jalapeno and cheese. I mean, if I hadn't tried this on the spot, guys, I would not have ordered it. I would have gotten Italian sausage or or uh, breakfast sausages or, or chorizo or something like that. I ate this on the spot. They had a sample thing out, and it just I damn near dropped to my knees. It was so good. Yeah, I got quite a bit of these. Now, these are the links. Maybe these are the... I don't know. Let's see what's in here. I'm not sure how to get it. It looked like bratwurst to me, but we'll see. Let's see what the last box has to offer us. And by the way, guys, this is a doe and a hog. That's it. It's a big hog, though. They will provide you with their... Oh, my God. Okay. Summer sausage, guys. Salami. How awesome. Look at that cheese. Look at that just sublime awesomeness. Oh, man. And that is another big box of love right there. That whole box to the bottom, full summer sausage. Ah, my friends are jealous. I can tell you that right now. They're going to see this video and I'm going to get a lot of phone calls. All right, guys. Now, to me, 
I don't know about you, but to me, you know what, I'll stack that over here. You want to see a trophy? Oh, let's just be pornographic about it, why not we? Hold on one second, guys, while I maximize the food porn. Because you know you want to see it. I know I want to see it. Let's see if I don't cut my hand off in the process. To me, that's about as beautiful a trophy as it gets right there. Now, I love antlers on the wall. I don't have any, happen to have any. I haven't shot a lot of animals that were mounting worthy. But I'll tell you what, every animal I've ever shot <clears throat> with an arrow has been worthy of some major food porn. And that's where I've gone with it. My full freezer is my trophy. Not to mention the memories and the film and the movies and the times with friends that have come along with it. That's the trophy, guys, right there. All right, Mike from Boyer Bows. Didn't really want to get preachy as much as I wanted to show off my, uh, my bounty. But anyway, thanks again, Rich. You know, people wonder, when the people say, you know, how much can an animal really, you know, you shot the animal and you're going to feed a whole bunch of people. Uh, you can feed quite a bunch, quite a few people if you make sausages out of it. All right, guys, Mike from Boyer Bows. Hope you enjoyed this. We'll have more. we got something really cool planned coming up here. I'll tell you more about it in another video. In the meantime, try not to be... Please uh, wipe the drool off the side of your face, and I'll get back to you soon.